When SOLIDWORKS users come across a watermark on a printed drawing that reads SOLIDWORKS Educational License, Instructional Use Only, they usually want to know why the watermark is there and how to get rid of it. The watermark simply indicates that there is at least one reference file that was created in a SOLIDWORKS educational version or using a template left over from an educational installation. The first thing to do is to identify the component that's causing the watermark. In the assembly design tree, we can easily identify files from educational version by the graduation hat icon. Also, when files from educational version are open in SOLIDWORKS, they bring up a warning message. This means that if we open multiple files at a time, the files from educational version will have a warning. Opening assembly components is not feasible for larger assemblies. Users with a valid subscription contract can find a utility in the SOLIDWORKS knowledge base that detects files from educational edition. When the file is identified, there are a couple of options. One is to recreate it if it's a simple design. Another one is to save it in a different file format. That removes the watermark, but also eliminates the design history of the file. In critical business situations, SOLIDWORKS resellers can start a formal procedure with SOLIDWORKS that includes a detailed explanation of the conflict and a request to remove the watermark.